this is a Muslim kid, you know, he is saying to me, uh, uh, and you know, after all what you show Muslims, all my videos, I show reference and I post the reference next to my video. Look what he's saying. Show me where it says in the Quran that the earth is the same as a flying carpet. Show me. Well, I did show you in the video, but he don't want to see it. Let us, let us show you again and let us see how he's going to respond to this. Now, before I show, just to show you how we prove our point always, we don't, you know, we, we are not like those Muslims who have a big mouth, they call names, they cannot prove anything. This is the official website of Saudi Arabia, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Islam, Ministry of Islamic Affairs, etc., and Da'wah and Guidance, as you see. This is a very, very, very official government, and here you can go and get a visa to go to Hajj. If you want to go to Hajj, this is the only place you can get your visa from. Those people, they have the authority to approve you for the visa to go to the Kaaba. He asked me where in the Quran it, show, it says that the earth is like carpet. I will show you and all of you, you will see in the video. But still he will say, and he will post again, will show me where. You did not show me yet. Because simply he is a Muslim. Which means he is accepting to be the dummy. When I say you are a dummy, I mean it. Now let us see how we can show you in your Quran that the earth is a fly is a is a carpet, sorry. Surah seventy one verse number nineteen. Wallahu ja'ala lakumul arda bisatan bisat simply it's me carpet. And the proof I'm not going to translate. If I translate it, they will say, see, he is a Christian translating our Quran in a false way. You are a liar. This is your official Islamic government website. Translation in front of you. The word besought me carpet. And Allah made the earth for you as carpet. Do you see it? And in here they are between, putting the word spread out, you know, to explain it more to you. It's not part of the Quran spread out. Everything you see in the site in here, between two mark, it's not in the Quran. It is something they add. But the Quran say clearly, as a carpet, he did use the word carpet. And still he will ask me and he will post again, show me where in the Quran it says it's carpet. This is your translation and this is my Arabic in front of my eyes. I do not need to read translation. Bisatan. So as you see, it doesn't matter how much you show them, it's in the front of their eyes, this is in their book, this is their translation, this is the Arabic, and still he will come and he will say and he will repeat the same question. When I call Muslims are a bunch of dummy, I mean it. It is serious, I'm not calling names. Because if after all what I repeat and after all what I show you where the word carpet exists, if you do not know where, what is that, it's your problem. Go and ask anyone who speaks Arabic what the word besought mean. He will say to you, it's a rag. You put in the floor. Ignorant potato. Now let us move to something more funny. And here he is saying another question. Where it does say uh, here, we guarded them from every spirit from the sky. You ignorant fool. I'm not, you know, I don't like to call people names and I'm not calling you name. I will show you again just to show you how slow you are. And it is not guarding them from the sky. If you don't understand, they are not in the sky. The genie, according to your Quran, they are in the earth. Because your God, He sent to the genie, to the Satan and to Adam to go down to earth. Let me show you the verse first to show you that all genie they are exist and Satan they are exist in earth. No genie is out of the zone of the earth. Let us show you and again he will say to me where it says that you did not show me, show me. First you don't speak Arabic and I challenge you, I challenge you, you know what challenge you? Huh? To come to my room and speak to me in Arabic because I can't tell. You have no idea what you are talking about. Ya ma'ashara jinni wal insi nistata'atum an tanfudu min aqtari samawati wal ard fanfudu la tanfuduna illa bi sultan. This is your Islamic translation, not mine. O ye assembly of jinns and men, 
If it be, you can pass beyond the zone of the heaven and the earth, pass ye, not without authority. So where is the genie and the Satan and the human? They are only in the earth. He is challenging them to go out of the zone of the earth. And how they can go out of the zone of the earth? By going to the heavens, which means the sky. So they are in the earth and he is challenging them to go out of the zone of the earth. And how he do that? He guard his sky by missiles. And this is your Islamic translation, this is a Jalalain, and this is your Islamic explanation, not mine. And verily we adorn the lowest heaven with one closet to the earth, with lamps, with stars. So only the lowest heaven of earth have stars. And we explained that before, that Muslims try to fool you saying, Allah, he created seven heavens and this is the layers of the earth. If this is the layers of the earth, how he say that only the lowest one have stars, which means the lowest layer of the atmosphere have stars, which is very stupid and fool to say. Now, and we made missiles against the devil if they try to listen. Look, if they try to attempt to listen by stealth, in the case of meteor, of a fire dashes itself for the star. So, if the Satan try to spy at Allah, Allah will shoot the Satan in his butt. He will kill him. And you will see in here, some of them they will get killed, some of them they will get injured. Man! Allah is miss, missing his shoot, because how, you know, why you, could, why you could not kill them? And to protect his heaven from a spy. You know, he is drinking coffee there, and he is telling secrets. So if the Satan try to get close, Allah will shoot him. Now if you see with me in here, if you look with me, you will see something very important. Allah, according to the Quran, He ordered Satan to get out of the heaven. This is chapter 7 verse number 13. He said to him, uh, uh, get down from this, which means from heaven. So Allah already kicked the Satan out of heaven. This is what I, I want you to, to concentrate in now. To show you a very important contradiction we have showed you many in one video and in this video we will show you one more if he told him get out of the heaven and Satan is already out of the heaven and by the way why he was kicking him out of the heaven in case you don't know because he refused to bow down to thee who is thee? he is Adam imagine the God of Islam ordering angels and genie which Satan is one of the genie according to the to the Quran, ordering them to bow down to Adam. Does it doesn't make sense to you? Why Allah he is ordering genies and angels to bow down to angel to, to to Adam? Why is is Adam better than the angels? The angels never commit sin. Adam he is a sinner. The the angels never disobey God. Adam he disobey God according to Islam. So when the God of Islam he say bow down and Satan refuse actually Satan here proven to us according to Islam he is a good guy Allah is the crazy man this is a crazy mentally God he's mental because it doesn't make sense give me one reason to make them bow down to Adam why why what for even if you love Adam it doesn't make sense this is a God of you know he like to play to, uh, games you bow down you go up you go down and bing bing boing bing bing you know he's playing bing bong with us and if you knew that Adam he will be a bad man who will do bloodshed and actually the angels themselves said to him you are going to order us to bow down to Adam and he is the one who do bloodshed the one he will do sin he will kill Allah don't care, He don't give a damn. You know what? Just bow down. I said bow down, you bow down. So Satan, according to Islam, he is not a bad boy. He is the good boy. Because Muslims always they say to us, in the religion of Islam, we are not allowed to bow down to anyone but Allah. 
and suddenly you see Allah is ordering even angels to bow down to human so now you bow down only to Allah or bow down to Adam too and you will see in here in verse number 19 after Allah he kicked the Satan out of heaven listen what happened he told Adam to go inside the heaven with his wife and suddenly in verse number 20 we see Satan getting inside the heaven talking to Adam and his wife and making them sin now the question if Allah he made self-defense system star war defense system so nobody can get a close how Satan was able to get in the heaven when he cannot even get a close to listen you see how stupid fool is the one who made the Quran